Mr. Bruno Mars, ladies and gentlemen. Come on out, Bruno. You love the hair. Oh, well, aloha, Bruno. Aloha. Uh, so, you, because you're Hawaiian, aren't you? No, I'm from Hawaii. From Hawaii. What well, does that not make you in Hawaiian then? No, no not really. Well, what does that make you then? If you're not a Hawaii from Hawaii, and a Hawaiian is, it... is from Hawaii. Okay, I'm Hawaiian. But uh, well, so, what would you call yourself then? Not that you'd have to call yourself something, but I would have thought if you came from Hawaii, you would be a Hawaiian. I like to call myself awesome. Well, okay, that's fine, you can do that. Uh, I have never been to Hawaii, I'd like to go to Hawaii. Uh, can I just check the kind of cliched view we have of Hawaii is that people there, uh, they like enjoy to surf. Yes. They like, uh, they would wear a flowery shirt of some sort. Yeah. Uh, perhaps they have a, a lay of, uh, is it called a lay of flowers on the neck, that kind of thing? Not all of them. Is this far removed from the reality of Hawaii? Is this the kind of cliched view that I have of the place? Um, no, I mean, it, it's, it has that. It's the beach life. It's the sun, sun all day. Close to London. Um. Yeah. And you still got family there? Your family's still based in Hawaii? Yeah. Wow. Uh, how often do you have to go back there? Last time I was there for, uh, was uh, Christmas. What do you have for Christmas? Because we have over here, we have traditionally, it is a turkey. If you eat meat, it's a turkey for Christmas. Is that what it is? Yeah, we have, you didn't know that? No, didn't know no, that? no, yeah, we have turkey. You have turkey too? Well, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, we have turkey in Hawaii. <laughs> no, I, 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 no, I, I knew you could get turkeys there, but because in America they don't really celebrate Christmas with a turkey. Well, um, what are we? We have this thing called Kahlua Pig. It's just awesome pulled pork. Wow, that does sound good. She knows what I'm talking about. Uh, and I'm you all... like, is it true? <laughs> you, you like spam in Hawaii, is this correct? I love spam. You see, the spam has kind of gone out of fashion here in the United Kingdom. I guess we do it different in Hawaii. I mean, I grew up on this stuff. It was spam and rice. We call it spam musubi. And it's like what you bring to school. And it's, it's unbelievable. It's delicious. I used to like Spam too. You see? Yes, I like Spam. And then you made a little money, huh? And you just stopped. Well, <laughs> don't, be, don't, be, don't be judging me. <laughs> not judging, not yeah, well, like, it, sound, it, it sounds to me like you're judging me, Bruno. No, no, never, never. I mean, I still eat Spam occasionally. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you ate Spam? Let's move on, because... <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the, this is exciting for me to have Bruno here. Uh, not just because he's a very talented young man, but because I, I interviewed Bruno, and Bruno Mars fans will probably know this. I interviewed Bruno many years ago. Uh, should we tell him how old you were when I first interviewed you, Bruno? I have no idea, actually. You were four years old. Wow. I, I know. How weird is this? I interviewed Bruno when he was four years old. I have a clip of it. Oh, God. I'm going to show you now. I mean, you must have seen I, this I since. I don't know. I haven't seen this. They, you haven't seen they this? They warned me about it, but I haven't seen this. Okay, well, okay. So this is me interviewing Bruno when he was four in Hawaii, and he hasn't changed a bit. Have a look at this. Bruno, first of all, can you tell me how old you are and how long you've been performing as Elvis? Uh, since when I was two. And how old are you now? I'm four. Now, what is it about Elvis? What do you like about Elvis? Mm, I like his singing and his dance and his lip. How adorable. How adorable is that? Remarkable. Yeah. I, I don't think it's a surprise to anyone that you're still performing. I think it's a surprise to everyone that I've still got a well, career. We're still here. Uh, <laughs> you, can you still do the Elvis curl? Can I? Which camera? Right uh -huh. here? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> uh, but that's incredible. So you were performing it, and, and the whole family, your whole family were kind of performers. Yeah, is that my, right? my father's a, a percussionist. My mother was a hula dancer and a singer. Wow. And I uh, just kind of grew up with music being all around. Was there a family band? Did you perform together as a group? Yeah. Yeah, um, my brother Tito, Jermaine. Um. <laughs> I don't want to ask which one that makes you. Okay? You're the crazy one. Uh, well, no, didn't you, your family had a doo wop group, didn't they? Yeah, my father had a group called the Love Notes. It was like a 1950s rock and roll show, and my uncle would do the Elvis impersonation in the show, which was my favorite part when I was a kid. So every night I'd be front row, and I'd be begging my dad, bring me up on stage. And finally one night, he brought me up, and... 
and here I am. Okay, so Bruno is over. You're on tour. You're going to be touring. Yes, I'm going to be touring the Moonshine Jungle Tour, coming to a city near you. Okay, when's it starting? It's going to start in uh, the states, but we're coming out here. Right. Okay, so that's a serious affair you got going on there. Well, you're not wearing the hat. You've let that out of play. That's when <laughs> you've cheesed that one up and out. How big is the biggest you've ever grown your hair, Bruno? Oh, there's some embarrassing photos of me. Like, right to... like this one? Uh oh. No, no, we don't. We don't. <laughs> We're going to find some, though, for next time. Oh, God. Uh, and so what is it with the hat? Why do you like wearing the hats? You know what it was? It's because I cut my hair. I used to wear my hair like that in high school. It's a big fuck. I had an afro, and then uh, I got over it, and I cut it, but all that weight was missing. <laughs> so I, I bought uh, my first hat. I bought my first hat at one of these uh, swanky men's... Uh, they, they sold cologne and canes and fake jewelry, and they had these hats. That sounds like a gangster sort of shop. Awesome yeah, shop. yeah. But I ended up picking up these hats, and I, I, it's the best. You don't got to do your hair. You just throw a hat on. Put a hat on. Put a hat on. Do you wear them in bed? Yes. Do you wear uh, regular hats like a baseball cap? Yeah, all the time. I got them all. Okay. <laughs> just trying to think of some other hats, but I can't think of any. <laughs> a belly. You got a belly? A what? Exactly. Um, <laughs> that's my problem when I try and buy them. What about, you ever tried an old-school... Uh, English top hat or bowler hat? I've been looking for a top hat because I think I would look incredible walking down the streets of London. In a top hat With and a, a leather jacket. And a monocle. Jonathan, I can lend you my school uniform. You can have tails as well and a cane to hit poor people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bruno, you're going to perform for us this evening. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, what's the song you do tonight? This song is my new single called When I Was Your Man. Okay. And this is a, it's a more of a ballad song than uh, the previous ones, isn't yes, it? Yes. Yes. The last one was uh, the fastest song on my album, and I think it's safe to say that this is the, the slowest song on my album. So when, you, uh, when you're writing a song like this, someone, are you thinking of someone in particular? Are you thinking of someone in your past? Yeah, absolutely. I don't think it'd be hard for me to come out here and sing something that wasn't, uh, wasn't real. And is it someone you have fond memories of? Yes. Is it me you were singing? About? Because some, there was, a, was that? Did I imagine that moment then, or was that that was real, wasn't it? Because there was a, there was a look in your eyes then, and I felt like I'd don't I'd, do this I'd let here, you down John, or something. Don't do this here. I didn't know. Not now. Because you stopped wearing the Elvis suits, I didn't know it was you. <laughs> Okay, so Bruno's going to fall out. Hey, it's been a pleasure having you, Thank and I'm you so pleased much. to meet you again Thank after so many years. Mr. Bruno Miles, he'll be playing later on, and after the break, I'll be chatting to Carol Vorderman as well, but don't go away. Live music from Bruno coming up.